Hey guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Fun one for you today, an old classic by the Foo Fighters, Monkey Wrench. Not sure why I haven't covered this one yet, but uh, uh, I had an email to notify me that I had missed it. So we're going to do this one. It's going to be a quick lesson. Um, it's not a lot of no solo stuff. It's kind of earlier Foo Fighters. There's not like a ton going on with the guitars. They kind of started adding a lot of more of that throughout uh, their career. So... Let's take a look here. We are in drop D. So every string is normal except for the low E string. You're going to have to take it down a whole step to D. And that gives us these big uh, kind of one finger power chords. All right, fun stuff. All right, so let's start with this intro. Now uh, we have a rhythm guitar part and then the little lead thing, a little um, melody figure that Dave Grohl plays. Um, so let's start with the chords underneath it first. It sounds like this. All right, so that's just a power chord here at the uh, second fret of the A string. So you can play that later in any figures you want. You can just hit it with all downstrokes if you want. Just those two strings. And then it goes to the power chord, the one finger version, over on the low E string. It's the D string, obviously, now. So it's just a fourth fret across the low, um, the, the low D, and then the A string. So you hit that four times. And then take it down to the second fret version of that chord. And you strum that a few times. So this. And at the end of the riff, zero two zero two zero. So that's a zero on both of those strings as well. So it's just power chord there. It's two bottom strings. So we just repeated it there twice. Now on top of that, uh, now that riff is going to come back in the verse in a kind of a lower dynamic setting. So on top of that, Dave Grohl does this. All right, so it starts here. Now when you see him play this live, he's going to have the open high E string ring in most of the time. He's just kind of going for it. Um, on the recording, though, he's usually just hitting two strings at a time. Um, now, he'll start this F sharp here, right here on the B string. And he kind of just starts it by itself on the B string. Then go over to the ninth fret on the G. And this is where we're going to start hitting two strings at the same time. We go 9, 8, 6 on the... G string. Now, while we're doing that, we're also going to be picking open B. Like I said, live, you'll hear the high E in there, too. But on the recording, you're pretty much just, you don't hear that high E until it gets down here. So we have this. So you see that open B ring in. So after you've done that, then you go back to the 986. Do that 986 again. And then what he does is he switches to the top two open string. So instead of doing that note here, he does it as an open B. And when he does that, now you're gonna hear the high E string on top of all of these. So we have this so far. Now here. He's going to play the second fret there on the B string with the high E string with it. Then the open B again twice. Then over to the first fret on the G string. And this time he's actually going to hit all three strings. So you hit the top, the open B and the open high E with that first finger there. Remember, you hit each one twice. 
Then back to the open B and the high E together. Then back to the second fret there on the B with the high E. Back to the open B. And then back to that second fret. And you're gonna bend it up. That slight bend upward half step. Then back down on the open B. So we have this. And then come back up and start over. Alright, and now we get to the verse section, which is just a simplified, well, not a simplified, just kind of a palm muted version of the um, intro. So it, the intro, of course, like. See, I'm just palm muting everything until the very end, right here. I'll let those ring out. All right, so you've, we've covered that. You know that riff is just played with a little bit more muting. All right, then we get to the pre-chorus, which sounds like this. And it goes into the chorus. So that's simple. It's just built around that one finger power chord off the second fret of the low E string. You can have this power chord go across the bottom three strings. I'm going down, down, up, and then I have an open uh, low power chord to the bottom three strings, and then up on the two again. So we have this down, down, up, down, up, and then I do another upstroke, and then I just go down, up, down, up, down, just to kind of the same ending we did before, zero, two, zero, two, zero. So we have this. Actually, that little, I'm starting that with an upstroke and then do an alternate picking. Up, down, up, down, up. It's repeat. So three times, and then we get to the chorus, which looks like this. So there's two different parts here. Um, Pat Smear plays a little bit higher up there. So I'll just show you what's going on here. We're going to play just this bottom one first, which you'll see Dave Grohl play live. That same power chord, you know, letting the chords ring open now at the power chord of the second fret of the A string. And then that one finger power chord up here at the sixth fret of the low D string. And then we go to four, two. So you kind of rotate back and forth between four and two a little bit. So like this. So you went back and forth like three times, and then you're going to grab the power chord off the third fret of the A string. So that C power chord. And then start back over. So I said Pasmir does something different there. It's just over these two chords. He does this. So he's just instead of going, he goes the power chord off the um, uh, an octave up there off the ninth fret of the A string down to the uh, seventh.
All right, so there's your chorus there. Um, now we have a bridge section, um, which kind of changes things up quite a bit. Sounds like this. So um, that is going to start, there's obviously, and Dave Grohl does something slightly different on top of all that. So, but he starts playing the same, the rip the same way here. The power chord at the sixth fret of the low, low D string. Then right here, off the, the, the power chord off the A string, seventh fret. So it's seven there on the A, nine on the D. And then the power chord off the ninth fret there. Just one finger power. That's off the uh, low D string, ninth fret. And then the fifth fret. Do this. So you hit that. Hit the first one a couple times and then just one, and then one, and then come down to the uh, fifth fret. And then just go four to two, four to two. Kind of continue it here. Just four two four two four two four two. And you're gonna end it with that chord that we ended uh, the chorus with. So it's always the last chord in the chorus. So we just when we get down to that very end, just kind of extend it and then just kind of speeding up the, the transition between the two chords at the very end a few times. Then we get to what I just kind of call like a, a big verse. It's almost like a continuation of the bridge, but he's playing the verse riff, but what he's really doing, the aggressive vocal style, that I want it to, I don't know the lyrics, but anyway, so it's like, So it's the same riff, just everything strummed wide open. Kind of like the intro of the song. So you do it four times. Now we get to a version of the pre-chorus, which is kind of like kind of a jam section of the song. It sounds like this. Thing. And then we're back to the uh, chorus. So that's just like the pre-chorus from before. And then do it again. Except now, we were always doing that pre-chorus riff three times. The third time here, they mix it up a little bit. They pause in the very beginning and then just go a couple of hits and then continue the riff like normal. So we have this. Pause. Back it up. You know what? I forgot to show you something he's different, doing differently in the bridge. Um, so let's go back real quick to that bridge section and we'll be done. We had this. Now what Dave Roll does is he plays this. Over this, he's just playing the fourth fret there on the G, along with the open B and the open high E, and he's strumming. Them. And 
except for the last time. We'll search where they ramp it up. All right, so that's about it for the rest of the song. It's, um, as when it comes to like Foo Fighters stuff, they have a lot of guitar parts usually. So this one's kind of laid out a lot more simple. All right, so I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to the channel. Go to guitarlessons365.com and, uh, uh, and check out the Academy, and uh, I'd love to see you there. All right.